Tim McConnell, and today we are bringing you the M1 carpet ride from Buffalo Bags. These are obviously a carpet bag and one of their more popular ones. The speed on the M1 is a 5 on the carpet side and 8 on the slick side, and I'd say it's pretty true to that. Um, let me see if I can get this for you. There you go. It's got a pretty good hole friendliness. Uh, one of my favorites from that company that I've thrown so far. They are just different. Uh, the carpet is not like one I've really seen on anything before. They perform different. I throw these very, very well. They have a little bit of a more full feel to them. The fill is kind of sandy, uh, very small. Like I've said before, not a not a chunky feel, not a big bead feel. It's kind of small, very malleable. So it makes them, I think, a great uh, bag. I uh, throw them very well. And in humidity, not humidity, they perform well. The carpet side, you can lay a block, but you can still move it up the board. Um, so I can still push with the carpet side. But the fast side, I think, is very, is very well um, utilized. It can push. It's hole friendly, and it moves very well. Sometimes when I throw the fast side, still like normal, I throw them off the bat because I don't like fast side even with these, but they're pretty controllable. Carpet though, you guys know by now, most of the videos you've seen, I think, you're gonna know I love carpet. And I was just looking real close to the pattern on this. It's it's different than anything I've ever seen. Look, I got a close up of that. It's a different carpet than a lot I've thrown. So I think that what's that's what makes them unique. They're not stamped. It's the only downfall right now. I don't know how long that's gonna last. They are very popular, um, very hot on the market right now. Along with their ambush and their deadheads, which I'm hoping I do a review on soon. Besides that, great design, cool color scheme. I like the green. Of course, I, I'm favorable to green anyways. But they're just an overall great bag. They perform very well, uh, very whole friendly. I just don't have much to say about them because they're just good bag one of the favorites i have reviewed one of the favorites i have thrown and these ones i don't think are going to go anywhere anytime soon maybe maybe in the future if they get stamped i might sell these off to buy the stamp ones but it doesn't really make a difference to me because the stamp isn't hugely important to me because i don't do a lot that i need the stamp for but it would be nice just to have it if i ever did um, with work and stuff be able to actually get out and playing competitions with around my schedule, my wife's schedule, and our daughter's schedule. But besides that, they're a great bag. Like I've said twice or three times already, and probably annoying you guys. They're just a good bag. I suggest giving them a shot. They're fairly inexpensive. I, oh man, now I forget. I wanna say they're like 80 something dollars or right around there, um, plus or minus shipping. So they're fairly reasonable in today's market. They're not. Overly priced, about average. Secondary market, I don't really see them go for that often. It's not something people, a lot of people sell. I've seen them a couple times in the secondary market, around 60 bucks, 65 bucks, because you can get them pretty available from Buffalo Bags, and they're really good about their shipping as well. Um, ship UPS, and you'll have it in a couple days. So, with that being said, let's get outside and throw them so I can stop rambling and actually show you guys how they perform and how good of a bag they actually are. Uh, I think it is pretty humid out to check when we get outside, but yeah, let's get out there and give them a shot and uh, show you guys how they actually work. All right, we're outside now guys with the, sorry, M1 carpet rides like I showed you earlier from Buffalo Bags. Give them a shot, we're hovering it around 80% humidity and 72 degrees last time I checked. So boards might be a little sticky so we'll see how they do um, like I said they are one of my favorites from them so let's give them a shot
Airmail. Alright, let's see how this looks like, guys. Pretty quick, I'm trying to throw it a little lighter. Hope that one's just there. Alright, we'll do a couple more with the slick side. I have a hard time keeping this one on the board because it is a pretty quick slick side. Quick sides here. That one barely stayed on. Right, do a couple more, just both sides for you guys. What's going on with my boards here? I guarantee we don't get the fold out here. Nope. leave it at that for you guys as you can see slow side is pretty good it still moves but it does stop um, again depends on your throw if you're high thrower or low and hard like I usually am depends um, but after that last shot you can see the quick side will cut through and go right to the hole if it, if it makes it there very hole friendly um, you just have to make sure you get it to the hole because as you can see when I throw excuse me quick sides a little fast for me still um, but then in instances like that where this bag is blocking the hole, it'll push through and sometimes take them with them if you throw the right shot. So they're definitely a good bag. Probably one of my favorites so far of throwing from um, buffalo bags, buffalo boards, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, so definitely check them out. And I have a sinking suspicion they're going to get a lot of these bags stamped soon. Um, at the time of this video, nothing's stamped, but I know the stamp's coming out um, soon. So I'll be curious to see what of their bags they do get stamped. Um, obviously this video isn't posted yet, so by the time it gets posted, they might be stamped. So I might be wrong, but I'm going I'm to say they've been a while not stamped. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say these, the Ambush, Deadheads, and maybe the Fallout X bags get stamped, but we'll see. Um, Josh, 207 Cornwall, have a great night.